All right, so I was doing um, some research, and you guys know that the Clearfield Doctrine stands, which is a 1942 Supreme Court case, Star Decisis, um, the Clearfield Trust Company versus the United States, right? So we were taught that the um, Counselor Three Courts were, um, I think it was relinquished was the word, um, and all the so-called cases were um, disposed of by 1960 by a man claiming to be president known as um, Eisenhower, right? Now, we also know that in 1861 there was a coup d'etat, and we know that the Nazi communist um, entities, now known as Democratic Party members, came over and um, took over the so-called governance, right? Now known as private agents, de facto entities, doing business as public governance. So I'm reading here where it says, Act, um, it's 141 to 143, repealed August 1st, 1956, Chapter 80770, Stat 774. Looking at the number of sevens in here, Act, August 1st, 1956, Repeal sections 151 to 143, effective upon the date which the president determined to be appropriate for the relinquishment of jurisdiction of the United States in Morocco. Now, remember that little word, of, of jurisdiction of the United States in Morocco. Jurisdiction of the United States in Morocco was relinquished by memorandum of President Eisenhower, dated September 15th, 1956. Now, here's the most important word in this document. In addition to those words of and the Gregorian calendar date, which is September 15, 1956, right? You know that we're 500 years out. Um, our calendar, which you know today is March the 20th, so tomorrow is our new year. I think we're in 1439. You guys go and look that up, our Moorish calendar year. So anything that you see after um, that date, 1400s, is a bit questionable. Anyways, it says here, notice was given to Morocco. So you guys know when you're doing your affidavits and your writs and estoppels, right, that you always put the party's name on the instrument, the document, right? So you'll write attention office of Emmanuel de Rosa doing business as president for Jamaica Public Service, right? You never just write attention office of Jamaica Public Service. So here it says notice, and you guys know that the word notice means offer, right? So if you look up in a Black's Law Dictionary, especially the older ones like one, two, three, or four Black's Law Dictionary, you'll see that word notice is actually means offer. So an offer was given to Morocco. Now, I don't know who Morocco is. Is that Mr. Morocco? Is there John Morocco? I don't know who that is. Now, I was researching um, that this second Morocco was established and given their independence. I think it was February 1956, right? Now, it's curious how this came came about on October the 6th, 1956. So it's almost as if, and I noticed that that new Morocco also had to create a bond in order to establish itself over there, right? So what they did, the trick bag was set up all these places around us. And you guys know from the video I created earlier um, that the United States, or what's known as America, all those other adjacent so-called countries, Barbados, Iran, you name it, Paris, London, was all in America, originally. Anyways, and all pending cases was disposed of by, 19, of, of by 1960. So, as I read this here, and now we know that the Council of Three Courts can never be dissolved, as long as the uh, Treaty of Peace and Friendship is still on board. Now, the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, I was reading here, um, thank you to Duran Tanzanite, who sent me a little uh, three-minute video from Rise of the Moors, and it was a Moor who had gone um, shopping. And on the receipt, their um, taxes were um, 
they were not charged any taxes. So I was looking up Title 22, Foreign Relations and Intercourse, page 954, um, Chapter 2, Consular Corps, Sex Courts, Section 141, Judicial Authority, generally to carry into full effect the provisions of the treaties of the United States and certain foreign countries. The ministers and consular, consuls of the United States and China, Siam, Turkey, Morocco, Muscat, Abyssinia, Persia, and the territories formerly a part of the former Ottoman Empire, which is Osmores, including Egypt, duly appointed to reside therein, shall, in addition to other powers and duties imposed upon them, respectively, by the provisions of such treaties, respectively, be invested with judicial authority described in this chapter, which shall appertain to the office of minister and counsel and be part of the duties belonging thereto wherein and so far as the same allowed by treaty and in accordance with usages of the countries in their intercourse with the Franks of the f other foreign Christian nations. And then it goes on to read RS 4083, 4125, 4126, 4127, section 141 of the title are fully empowered to arraign and try in the manner provided in for this chapter all citizens of the United States charged with offenses against the law committed in such countries respectively and to sentence such offenders, offend, offenders in the matter in the ex execution RS 406. Six four zero eight four Title Twenty Two Chapter Two Section One Forty Three General Jurisdiction in Civil Cases. Such officers are also invested with all of with all the judici judicial authority necessary to execute the provisions of such treaties, respectively, in regard to civil rights, whether of property of person, and they shall entertain jurisdiction in matters of contract at the port where or nearest to which it was to be executed and in all other matters at the port the united states are represented by consuls such jurisdictions shall embrace all controversies between citizens of the united states or other pro others provided by such treaties respectively so you see I'm reading this, and it's about the 1787 Treaty of Peace and Friendship that we Moors are protected by. So what this is claiming, this Dwight D. Eisenhower person, actor, de facto agent, um, Democratic Nazi communist, he was probably talking about some other um, corporation known as Morocco. But again, you can't serve a corporation. You guys know you have to serve the party directly, right? Anyways, I think it was also Duran Tanzanite who sent me this video earlier on Sophia Stewart. Sophia Stewart, I'd made a video earlier reading from this book that she was a creator. She is the creator of The Matrix and The Terminator. Anyways, there's a video now out. I'll put in the description below where she won all the cases. But more importantly, she's breaking down the history of what's going on and the future of what's to come, which is where we are now. Anyways, you guys, don't take my word for it. Go and do the research on this, but I'm almost positive with all the wins that we've seen in the how many years we've been doing this, counselors' courts never ended. They just have to give you the, your win privately, secretly, and whether you do it through, they do it through the mail post or when you go into the courtroom, they pull you aside or you're the last one, you get your success and you get your win. You get your, your win by their non-response. They cannot rebut true law star decisis Supreme Court cases such as Hale versus Henkel because you're not a person. You're a living flesh and blood sentient being. Woman, um, uh, Suri Juris, Suri heir, heiress, heir to the world's vast estate. So this notion of us being blindsided by these writings we have to really go and research some of this stuff because what they put out there was to confuse a lot of us like share subscribe you guys thank you for your donations thank you for your support to us here and thank you for sharing have yourself a great day and remember to breathe our new year's tomorrow